No, no, what is that? What is that? What is that? This is not real. Tell me this is not real. What was the point of the egg? You're chopping it with the condom on it. <gasps> Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube vi video. No. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sam, otherwise known as Sneerix from TikTok. And today we are going to be reacting to arguably some of the most cringy types of videos on the internet, AKA five minute crafts. If you're following me on Instagram, you've probably seen some of my reactions to five minute crafts. So I figured we might as well make it a whole official video here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. Ruining the jeans. We're using our ass as a stamp. Fine, let's just be creative, I suppose. It's like sloppy. <laughs> and I love that she's still wearing the pink pants that were ruined. You couldn't have like cleaned up all the extra shit outside of the heart at the very least or like filled it in. At that point, just use a paintbrush and fill in the heart. Oh, that's big and really inconvenient. Oh. <gasps> no, no, what is that? 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 What is she doing to herself? Oh. <gasps> I literally thought it was a cute little like wind chime with like a whale tail or like a mermaid tail. I didn't realize that this was like a saw trap device. I love that they literally had to put a disclaimer because that looks so dangerous. Not to mention it's gigantic and inconvenient. How long are you supposed to stand there? Are we supposed to be making this device ourselves, or is this something we're supposed to buy? And if we're supposed to buy it, then it's not a craft. Maybe like one of those like neck braces or like anything that wouldn't potentially rip your neck off if something went wrong. What if somebody opened the door while you were using this? Slams the door right into the back of your neck and maybe they'll knock it into place and then you won't have to do this anymore. It's like, you know, if you like tie a string around your tooth and then put it on a door and somebody opens it. It's like that except with your neck. <laughs> hmm? Yummy, what is it? Cocaine? Why does it have to be in a toilet? And the first part was very confusing because it looked like a big lollipop, but the big lollipop now looks like it's in a tiny toilet. Why would you eat like marshmallows off of a lollipop to begin with? That's the first thing. And then a powdery substance. I guess that's fair because that's like the, what do you call them? The little dip things. I almost said sip and dip. What the f the fun dip thing, I guess that's like what they're trying to recreate here, except they're putting it in an overflowing toilet. And she's just like, mm, yum. <laughs> Oh, it's like a hot knife. Okay, we cut up a water bottle, we rolled up a towel, putting it in the water bottle. <gasps> what? Why is he putting those towels? What the f The airport security is gonna be like, no, this is suspicious as f I don't know what it is that you're doing. It looks more sketchy that you have wrapped up towels in water bottles that have been sliced with a knife with just a pair of jeans and one belt. Where are you going, sir? This does not seem normal. Next one. Jeans are so expensive, dude. Why? Okay, we're gonna string up our pants with a pink shoelace. Where? <gasps> no! Oh no, 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 no. Okay, maybe those would have been cute like in the appropriate setting, like Coachella. <laughs> There's definitely nothing wrong with designing your own pants. However, we also want to make sure that what we're designing isn't going to like totally fall apart when you're just walking around. Because if you look closely, some of these little, I don't know, what would you call it? The loops that she's looping through don't look very secure. Some of them look like they've fallen off or they're falling out. The whole thing just doesn't even match. Like. Uh, next one. Okay. <gasps> I need to stop this video. I'm sorry. Th for this woman straight up just put condoms on her feet. This woman straight up just put condoms on her feet. It makes me already feel like my feet are suffocating. I'm zooming into her eyes as well because those are not cucumbers unless that's like a fake plastic thing that's supposed to be like a cute little thing that you put in the fridge. Maybe that's actually kind of funny, but if not, that kind of looks like a lime and it makes me think that she has limes over her eyes, <laughs> which would probably burn. And she's acting like she's relaxed and all I can think about is how her ankles are literally probably like cut off from the blood cycle and She's just like, oh, this is great. Like, I can't feel anything. It feels wonderful. And it's like, yeah, because your feet are literally like so numb from how stretched that is. <gasps> why, 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 why? Wait, go back. Why? I don't understand. Why would you put plastic on this thing anyway? Is it a zucchini or a cucumber? You're chopping it with the condom on it. <gasps> Better not be a lubricated one or a scented one or any... 
Okay, mm, what is the cheap one? A cheap condom that they're using? Or it's just like plastic wrap? I don't understand. And what is the point? What if you were staying at somebody's house or you were like at an Airbnb or something and they just had like in their fridge and one of them was a cut up zucchini in a condom? <laughs> I'd probably be like, Oh, uh, so we'll probably never be returning here nor returning your phone calls because I just can't justify this behavior. Next one. Oh. Uh. uh, ew, ew. What was the point of the egg? Ew. Ew. Egg milk? These go so fast, I literally don't even have time to understand what I'm seeing. Okay, the first one is someone cooking straight on the stove. And their point is that you don't need to use dishes. But you do need to wash the stove because now you've cooked bacon, raw meat, raw egg, pancake batter, which is very sticky. You would have had to spray it with like Pam or something, which would have gotten, it just is greasy, gross. You're gonna have to wash that. So no, is more inconvenient than just washing a dish. The second one, they threw in an egg, still in its shell, uh, maybe vegetable oil. And I didn't even see the ice cubes because I was so focused on the damn egg. And we're putting the top on and popping the popcorn. Why? What exactly the f and There must be something that I'm personally missing here. I must just, like, there must be some f reason that you would do this. The ice is very confusing to me. I just, okay. Uh, the third one, it looks like they're just dropping the egg besides the shell this time. We're not adding the shell. They drop in some kind of herb here. For all I know, this is probably grass, <sighs> knowing this account. And what does that make? Eggnog or something? I don't know. I don't, eh, I'm gonna just look it up. I have to know now. What the f is eggnog. I feel like that has milk in it. Eggs, milk, cream, spice. No, this is not what they were making. I don't know what that is. A watery, eggy mix. Okay, so you make the iron hot and then peel off the things you don't want. That makes sense. Although now you're just gonna have like the marks of the letters on your shirt. I'm assuming they're going to cover those up with something else. But again, that's not five minutes. That's probably going to take a very long time. <laughs> At least for somebody that doesn't know what they're doing. That one's a no for me. I, I don't know what the no means because we're not doing like a rating or a yes or no system here, but we're just giving that one a no. Thank you. Oh, what, wait, whoa. Okay, that's hideous. Hold on, let's start that one over because the toothpaste one just went so fast. So they're wasting toothpaste, recycling, right? Old, but still had toothpaste in it. Toothpaste in place of like a zip tie or a rubber band or something normal to use. It's like you could, but why would you? In the second one, this woman is surprised that her pile of sh including round objects like purses, umbrellas, almost specifically round objects. So she's like, oh my God, I have the best idea. I'm gonna flip over this chair instead of just use it to like sit on and get like a table. So when you open the door, it's gonna swing into all the and knock it over because those purses are just dangling on there. Same with the helmet. And I don't know if you've tried to dangle a helmet on like a hook or something. It just like doesn't stay. So the fact that this is even staying is incredible to me. I guess she doesn't have a closet because she's probably using her closet like to shower in because apparently this is the house of doing things stupid. These are old headphones. What are these items? Okay. All right, and we're just gonna put our entire face in a copy machine and hope to God we don't get cancer so I can take a photo that makes absolutely no f***ing sense. These items don't even make sense together. Like, it's not even like a theme. You have flowers that look like they've died or that they're in the process of dying, a pink comb, cheap gold necklace, and then headphones from like 2010 with the cord still on them. Although this would be a type of photo that would show up on Next Top Model and they would be taking it so seriously and being like, oh, it's so beautiful, oh, oh my gosh. Also, I'm not really sure that that's how copy machines work. From my understanding, copy machines are just gonna make it show up like a shadow. It's not gonna have some like beautiful resolution like as if someone took it with a professional camera. Imagine if somebody sent you this for their Christmas card or they just had it like framed in their house. I'd just be like, did you choose to do that? Or like, did someone squish your face down into a copy machine? Were you being bullied? And this was kind of just like a weird result of that. It kind of looks like maybe she fell, like someone pushed her over. It's just confusing. Oh, she's surprised that sitting in an empty box is going to fall through. Oh. 
but why do we need to sit on the box when there's a couch right there? I would really love to be in a scenario where I'm at a gathering or somewhere where there's seats and, and people are sitting and I'm like, oh, hey, where can I sit? And someone's like, ah, Yes, I've crafted this chair for you. It only took me five minutes here. And they pull out a literal cardboard box that you have to hold together. It has no bath, absolutely no balance because I'm sure if you put your actual weight on it, it will still collapse. She's probably literally just sitting like hovering above the chair for the sake of the video. Oh yes, Barbie's getting a manicure. Okay, okay. Why is this actually kind of satisfying? <laughs> Oh, I don't like that nail polish. So cool. Actually, why is that one actually good? I'm, I, <laughs> I don't believe this would have taken five minutes, to be honest. Now I kind of want to try it. I do have a glue gun. I don't have like a doll though. I don't need to do it. I don't know why. No, okay. I'll give you this one five minute crafts. Another toilet. Cold lid. That is, okay, well, she better have the cleanest toilet on the planet and she better never use those socks again. <laughs> Who agrees to be in these videos? That's what I want to know. And how much are these people getting paid? That is so gross. If this is that much of an issue where you've decided that now you need to come up with some sort of makeshift toilet seat cover, you should probably just pick up a toilet seat cover next time you're at the store. Ew. More eggs. What is that? It's like slime. <gasps> How is she going to breathe? How did she, no, 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 no. How did she breathe? <gasps> that, was that an eyeball egg? If you have any sort of phobia of not being able to breathe, don't do this craft because I'm sure everyone's, you know, jumping to do it. Even though it's not my style, I suppose the work they put into this particular sculpture is cool. Doesn't take five minutes, probably took five days, but I'm not really sure what exactly you would do with it. I mean, are you going to hang this on your wall? It's not very flattering. You can't be like, yeah, that was me. I mean, maybe if you had like an odd wall of art and you could kind of blend it in with all the other weird art, it would make sense. But if you just had this like on your wall behind you like if this was on my wall behind me like what would you guys say about it is that supposed to be like decorative or they didn't pay for their hot water this month soup filtering if you just want to take all the broth out and be the asshole of the family which i would literally lose my if i came back to get some soup and there was just like chunks of celery left over with literally no broth i'd be like okay so that Pancake strings, powdered sugar. Those pancakes didn't even look fully cooked and weren't flipped, evidently. It kind of looked like potato strings, which makes the powdered sugar seem that much more unappealing. I suppose it's not much different from the concept of funnel cake, except funnel cake looks good. <laughs> I just don't believe the time you would put into making those little strings would be worth it. Just make a pancake or buy a funnel cake. My God, another toilet. What? Oh, this one, I'm like, what was the craft? Somebody made edible toilet paper, which is chocolate too. <laughs> and then she rolls a toilet scrubber across her face. Is this supposed to be, oh, she gave herself freckles. You've gotta be kidding. This has gotta be like a, a joke. This is not real. Tell me this is not real. And please tell me that no one in their right mind is actually going to copy this crap. Disgusting. No offense to her. It has nothing to do with her. It's just really bad. All of those stacks of toilet paper are now missing because I guess she ate them all. So she's like, oh no, what do I do? I don't have toilet paper, but I do have a spray bottle of water that I'm going to use as a bidet. That's disgusting. I really hope she was just getting up to go to the next bathroom or to go get some toilet paper from like a nearby closet. And that was just like a temporary thing because my God, what the f and after that one, I am going to close my phone and never open it again. And I'm probably going to go hide in a closet and just like scream. I just don't understand anything that just happened. If you understand what just happened, feel free to explain it to me. And if you see any videos you want me to react to, including five minute videos, difficult people videos, or just random videos that you think would be fun for a video, make sure to tag me in it on Instagram, TikTok, or send me an email. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you for being here and I will see you next time. Bye.